UPA was the uh, forerunner of all these other uh, contemporary studios that followed, but they were the first ones. And uh, John Hubley was very instrumental, and he did a lot of wonderful work during that period and won a lot of awards, you know, I must say. At one point I worked with John on a film he was doing for Mike Todd. And that was going to be a very innovative uh, uh, foray into a certain area where showing the film, they would then emit the sound or the smell of whatever it was in the film. They would somehow, it was some kind of way that they would work this device where if if the characters were in a field of flowers and you were sitting in the theater audience looking at that stuff on a screen, you would get the scent of flowers in the audience. It was called smell of vision Yeah. <laughs> and, and the character that they were using in this film was uh, Bert Lahr. He was a, a detective in the film. and. So John needed some help and he asked Bill Tyler, who I was partners with at the time, could I work with him on this film? So I was loaned out to John Hubley. I started out with a uh, company called Electra Films and um, then joined a company called Focus and then stayed with Phil Kimmelman, uh, another friend of Ray's for many years. One of the, the best things that ever happened to me was being uh, meeting Ray in the mid-90s and uh, becoming friends with him because we had never worked together in the business and I never met Ray in the business all the times that um, during the years that we uh, had worked in Manhattan. But uh, through mutual friends of uh, Chris Ishi and Vinnie Bell, we uh, used to go out for lunches in uh, Hastings when Ray still lived in Dobbs Ferry and uh, had terrific lunches and we've been friends ever since. The studios at that time, which were a lot more than they are now, but the, the Ray Favada Studios name always uh, was like one of the best studios in town and it, the, the best talent always gravitated to his studio and whatever he touched was always golden and stuff he did was just terrific. What I'd like to say about Ray is that he is the complete renaissance man. It's not only cartooning and animation, but Ray is like excels in everything that he touches from photography to illustration to art history to uh, you name it, he, he's good at it.